Would you like to know a little secret? Here it is. A lot of people find it really hard, really awkward, really uncomfortable to start a conversation. So in today's Snapchat story, what I'm going to do is share some ways that you can start a conversation at your next event. For those of you up at Periscope Summit, you might find some of this useful. The questions I'm going to share, these work. This is what I use to get to know my jury, 12 strangers in trials, okay? And they'll work for you too. Okay, so now you're in a situation where you're looking somebody else eyeball to eyeball and you want to start a conversation. You know, what do you do next? So for starters, I want you to smile. I want you to smile with your, with your mouth. I want you to smile with your eyes. I want you to be friendly. That's the first step. Okay, next we're going to use the power of open-ended questions. These are questions that can't be answered yes or no. And with each open-ended question, here's the key. And it's, hard, it's, it's easier said than done. After you ask your question, stop talking and start listening. So a really easy question to ask, especially in a business setting, is after you're introduced to somebody uh, and during the introduction, they'll say, this is Bob Smith, this is what he does for a living. So a great question in a business setting is to ask the open-ended question, what do you enjoy most about your business? What do you enjoy most about your profession? And then listen. Another great open-ended question is, what separates you and your business from your competition? Here's another good one. You might want to ask, what advice would you give someone, someone like me, who's starting off in the XYZ company or the XYZ business? Now, keep in mind, once, you, once the other person answers your question, instead of turning it around and saying, oh, that's great, I do that too, let me tell you about me, what I want you to do instead, what I want you to do is actively listen and then ask a follow-up open-ended question based upon something the other person just said to you. By using this approach and asking a follow-up open-ended question, instead of talking about yourself, it'll allow you to more quickly develop rapport with somebody else. Okay, here's another great question. What significant changes have you seen in your business, have you seen in your profession over the years? And then once you get to know somebody, a great question that kind of takes things a more personal direction would be a question something like this. If you knew there was no chance of failure, what would you try to do in business that you haven't yet done? And then I think my favorite, once the dialogue's generated and you've had an exchange with somebody, you've kind of connected, and that is, what do you see as the coming trends in your business? What do you see as the coming trends in your profession? And then just listen. So there are many, many other ways, many, many other questions you can ask to start a conversation, and I have shared all of them in today's blog post which can be found at Trial Lawyer Communication Tips for Everyone, and that is at mitchjackson.com, and that's where we share 30 years of communication tips for everyone.